Hey, this is Omari O'Neill, founder of SquarespaceThemes.com, where we help creative entrepreneurs customize, tweak, um, and basically level up your business online with Squarespace. Um, today, I'm just going to go through a, a quick uh, CSS tutorial um, that could really help you um, just customize your site in, in ways you probably uh, hadn't previously imagined. Um, so. I've got a little modal pop-up right here uh, to get, you know, for someone who wants to access the blog. They go through here, let me in, and um, and so forth. But I don't like this. Um, get updates. It, it's, you know, it's not centered. There's a lot of... Basically, I want to change this. So here's what I do. Um, and I'm using Chrome. Um, which has developer tools built in and all you do is you simply right click on the element that that you're curious about changing I'll say it like that inspect element and then down here you'll see okay we've got the form title get updates um, then there's the form wrapper above it that it's nested in and then the light box content so what I'm looking at here here, excuse me, is um, this light box, right? And I want to change the title. So I look over here on the right in my Styles tab, and this is the CSS for that particular element. Okay, so we've got the background here of the entire light box, so you can actually play with that right here in the browser and see okay maybe I want to go maybe I want to make it almost seem transparent you know um, I actually think that's dope so I've got that right so I'm gonna to implement that simple tweak what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this I'm gonna go over to my custom CSS panel, okay, um, custom CSS. Now you, you know, I'm I'm doing this on the fly, but you you want to track and and maybe organize these simply because once you start doing a lot of customizations, it could be tricky to keep track of. So, you know, I'm just doing it a very a crude crude way right now but there we go um, for some reason my button is black but oh so alright so there we go I've got this almost transparent background and you know what it's not transparent so I'm actually just gonna make it transparent yeah Okay, so now I've got the transparent background, which is dope. And now I want to center this thing right here. So we can do the same thing, right click. And here's the styling for that particular el particular element. So I'm going to add a line here that's text align center. Okay, and now, now that's centered and it looks, looks a little better. Um, you know, there's some extra space here that I might want to get rid of, and I, I think I want this get updates to be bigger, so I'm going to increase the font size to maybe, let's say, 48, see what that looks like. Oh, all right, that's big. Um, 36, uh, maybe I like the small style. Oops, that's too big. Maybe I like the 20. Mm. So you know you just play around with it, find find what you like, um, and I want this to be all uppercase. So I'm gonna add another line: text transform uppercase. All right, so there we go. And I do want the color to be lighter than that. So maybe white. Oh, white is nice. Okay, cool. So white. Um, and this button, um, I don't 
don't like the fact that it's showing up black like that, so let's, let's check that out real quick. Let's see what the uh, color code is on that. Um, let's see. That maybe does it. And it does, but that's the wrong shade. Because I, I actually really like the raised style. Just looks, just looks really good to me. Oh, here we go. Okay. Um, now, forgive me if I'm kind of breezing through things here, but um, you know, I just wanted to show you how how you go about doing something like this, and I'm gonna add this also because I don't want to lose it. Get rid of all that. Let's close that. Okay, all right, now back to my um, get updates up here. Okay, here's my styling for that element. I'm going to grab that. Here's the background, so I'll put it right here. And now, all right, cool. So I'm going to save this. And when I refresh my page, um, what happens typically when you refresh the, the you know, any change that you make over here gets reset. So you're back to basic, you know, you're back to whatever's uh, coded in the site. Pass the account. Look at that. All right, so. There we go. All right, now I've got my own custom styled uh, light box pop up. All right, so um, I hope that was helpful. Um, I hope that you learned something and um, feel free to leave a comment if you have a question or would like me to highlight something else for you. Um, there's a lot and, you know, basically as I update this site, squarespacethemes.com, I'm going to just, you know, share with you guys how I'm doing that as I'm doing it. Okay, so this is a work in progress, and um, I'm glad you could be a part of this journey. Peace.